Hello, hello to all the amazing people. The new mer here with some more cards of our tropical island. We are playing the mermaid. We are on day 45. Welcome, welcome everyone, the old, the new. If you stumbled upon this video by accident and never seen me play before, I do suggest to check out the description and the comment and uh, I'll check out the playlist and start from the first video because this will not be a new player friendly video, I can tell you that. We are pretty advanced right now on day 45. Uh, and yeah, but if you still wanna see what's up, you are welcome to stay, hopefully have some fun. With that out of the way, um, Let's see what are we doing here. So at the end of the last episode, I did catch the sea hound and uh, without getting wounded as well. So I guess all that spear training did pay off. Mm. <laughs> well, part of me is like, eh, you know, I'm not big into hunting and fighting and stuff like that. And pretty stubborn about it as well. But I guess, uh, I guess uh, it is worth it. It is worth it. We built ourselves a nice harpoon, by the way. Uh, it seems like it loses durability fast though, like, oh boy, 83% uh, already? Hmm. That's not very good, I don't like that. How much does it lose if it rain? Let's check it out. Well, wait, actually. Okay, so it's night. It's night. Okay, 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 okay. Not sure if you're tired or anything, but uh, I definitely will need some food. I think it's kind of smart to start with. Let's see. We are just slightly hungry. Hmm. Let's start like that. Let's first rest. I don't want to be tired. Okay, that's good. Then we will... Oh, look at that. 49% give birth. Cool. Then let's cut the meat. <coughs> Sorry. Still coughing a little bit, but um, hopefully it goes away soon. Right. That's a lot of time. 10% as well. Okay. Right. So there's the food. And we got another scrap. Uh, so I was being asked in the comment, like, will I go with a scrap playthrough if, um, since the sea hounds drop scrap and it's very, very tempting. It's like, it's so amazing, right? I don't know if you get it each time, but I'm going to tell you this. As long as I have scrap, I will not go for copper because I don't see much point to it. Scrap is pretty good. Um, although I do like copper. So it's a hard decision. Anyway, uh, let's start the fire so we can start eating. Uh, okay, I left my fire drill in the um, in wetlands. So let's craft another one. That's uh, a little bit unfortunate, but hey, what can you do? That actually gives you woodworking skill. That's so interesting, actually. Hmm. That's very interesting. I kind of like that. Okay, let's do that. While we're waiting for that to cook. Uh, do you have anything to eat, maybe? I'm pretty sure I don't. <laughs> oh, look at that, some bugs. Okay. I guess it will work in a pinch. Uh, I guess... No, let's just forge. Ba -da -ba 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 -ba. Are we gonna throw up again? That's the question, no? Okay, land sickness is gone. So yeah, I spent some time in the wetlands. It was pretty good. I enjoyed it a lot. We were able to do a lot of progress towards some important things. Um, let's see. I discovered a new blueprint. Okay, okay. The wisdom of the sea hounds gave us the knowledge to make the chair. Uh, it was pretty good. Uh, land sickness maxed out, but I was able to fight the Noshia with Nosha with um, with the ginger, so that was pretty good. Already nine minutes, right? Oh yeah, one more good news, by the way. Uh, I will. I decided I will. I will pre-record the videos. Because uh, for some reason, last week YouTube took like ages to process the videos. So I had very varying times of release, which I'm not a huge fan of. So I will do the best in my ability to have the release about the same time each day. Which means I will usually pre-record one day in advance. So there will be some delay between your comments and actually me like talking about it in the game. But... I will try to release about the same time every day in HD. Um, yeah. 
So yeah, I'm very looking forward to that. That's the quality improvement that I want to implement. So I'm going to be doing that. Right, are we cooking something? No. Uh, let's cook some crabs. Let's cook some prawns. Let's grab some more. Oh, we can't. Okay, that's all right. That's all right. But yeah, we're getting some nice crap. I'm happy because of that. Okay, a little bit tired of eating that. Uh, so we can put it in here, I guess, the food. Got some bug repellent here. I'm really... It's really not doing its job. <laughs> <laughs> like, uh, Mermaid is so susceptible to bug bites, so that's one of the problems of staying in wetlands. You cannot really stay that long for, uh, there without getting destroyed by bugs. So we would have to switch locations a little bit, I guess. Or maybe spend some time deeper in the case, but we have to, like, uh, we have to, like, uh, find it out first, which is, like... Which is like how we usually get copper, which I might not go for, and yeah, things get complicated real fast. Anyhow, let's get some food. Okay, we got one more prawns, we got some eggs, and that's about it for food, is it? Okay, we got some kawa here. Uh, our hands hurt, so yeah, getting high on kawa is probably a good idea. We do have some water for it, so that's perfectly doable. Okay, discovered a new blueprint. I think that's it for blueprints for now. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, show all unresearched blueprints would be a nice button. <laughs> we'll see if we can get that one going. Oh, whoops, that was a mistake. There we go. These bugs, let's make some bird feed. We're having way more birds now, so we're gonna be drowning in eggs soon. Um, Bird feed. There we go. Prawns is done. Right. Kawa. Do we lifting this thing on? I don't know, actually. Part of me says yes. We have a lot of wood, so we could. Yeah, it's all right. Okay. Drink some kawa. We could go and catch some fish while it's still dark outside, I guess. Although, it's becoming clear, so we're a little bit late on that. Oh, that's really good, though. Ooh, fish scraps, that's okay. Oh, speaking of, we got some of that there. Okay, something spoiled, that's okay. I don't mind too much. We'll get some more. Where's that fish scraps, then? I don't see it. Oh, so this is from the Sea Hound, I suppose. Right. Okay. All right, all right. Put that in there, put this off. Good. So what's the next plan? Hmm. Plan is to leave really, really well. <laughs> no, I'm gonna build a mud hut in wetlands. Uh, mud hut will protect us from the bugs. So once we have the mud hut up, we'll be able to spend our way more time than usual. The only problem will be food. So uh, we'll need to make some traps and stuff and we are working on that as well. Uh, let's grab the scrap knife though. Let's make some. Let's make some. Uh, where is it? Camp. Food corks. There we go. Okay, a few scraps are done. That's gonna be great. There we go. Carve this thing. Yeah, our hands hurt. We are developing calluses here, so this will not be a problem for a long more time. We are using kawa to like alleviate the pain. So yeah, we are making our hands nice and tough. We decided if we're gonna be a land mermaid, we will need to put our mind to it. And that means making our hands really, really tough. We planted lots of kawa, so we're gonna be using that to our advantage. Uh, okay, we still have some good ginger here. Okay. Okay, there's the spindle. We could maybe make another one and have one in the... Yeah, let's make another spindle, actually. Will this use up the knife? I don't know. Yeah, it would, actually. Okay, we're gonna leave this one in the wetlands next time we go there. So, we have two of them. Let's see what's next. A little bit lonely. Lonely. I'm so lonely. Well, we're gonna be birthing ourselves a new friend soon. So, well, in like 40 days, 50 days. I don't know how long it takes. Right, forge. 
Mm, seaweed. Now, seaweed is tempting. If we could gather enough seaweed to make the nest inside the jungle, that would help a lot as well. I should definitely cook these, though. There we go. Okay, done with that. Well, actually, you know what? Okay. Should put these in the backpack. Backpack's kind of full. Okay, let's take these out. This will be eating during the day. Alright, let's eat. Are we tired of eating mollusk yet? No? Maybe? Well, now we are. But that's pretty good. Rich enough body fat, 45%. Okay. So each time we make a milestone in that, it does give us, like, a message. So I guess we are gaining body fat, which is pretty good. Let's do the figurine. Yep. There we go. Three nails. Door. Okay. Like that. Okay, what else could we use here? I mean, we can drink some more kava, I guess. That's why we brought it back now. Okay, we're gonna turn this off. Let's go. Oh, we have something new to research. Three nails, of course. So we're gonna need those. I mean, we can make some, I guess. No. Let's see. Train some spear. Right. 82% train. Okay, it doesn't lose much. And it is very efficient since it only takes half an hour. That will be like... That will make things way easier now. Okay. What else do we want to do here? Let me see my gear. Okay, hand wrappings are pretty close to... Okay, coconut sandals are pretty much done. So we're going to make new ones here. Uh, can we break these apart? No, we can't apparently. Okay, let's keep wearing them until they fall apart then. Eat this thing. Okay, tired of eating ballask. But saturations on mermaid go down really, really fast. So it is like not really a problem. Okay, uh, let's uh, see. Let's see, got some crabs. Yeah, let's eat some crabs. Take another break, maybe. There we go. Discovered new blueprint. I think we don't have any more. Right, now we can make some of these. You know what? Let's make, uh, let's make some cloth here. I'll make hand wrappings. There we go. We're going to put them into the backpack. So we're going to put them on once these are about to break. I guess we can break them manually as well. Like, <laughs> stabbing a sea hound is really, really good. I'm very happy about that. 65% good. Yeah, this, this harpoon will pay its cost in dividends. Seaweed spawns really fast. It is kind of hard to collect five of them, isn't it? So if we will going, be going for the next, we'll really have to focus on that objective a lot. Okay. Uh, let's see. Okay, make another yarn here. Five cores, three yarns, a million ropes. Okay. okay, cloudy outside. Let's see something. A little bit sun exposure. Like stabbing a fish right now. Okay, loading times are still manageable. Although they will become worse as we collect more and more items. So we'll have to figure out a way to like keep that under control. And migrating is one of the ways. We're just going to leave everything we don't immediately need here. And then just be like, bye-bye my old cave. Bye-bye my, my uh, how do we call it? The place where we exited the sea. Um, and see you later. <laughs> We're going to spend some time in wetlands. Oh, we need a new axe, actually. I just realized. Yeah, we're really low with access and stuff. Okay, let's do it like this. Okay, coconut sandals broke, that's right. Gonna take some embers here. I'm gonna put them on a piece of wood. 
There we go. And we're gonna need a new sharp stone. Do we leave this thing on? Yeah, sure. For another ember, I think. Right. Okay, now we can forge outside, so let's do that. So not sure should we go to the wetlands tonight again? We could. Not sure if we're gonna stay there though, but depends how much food we can gather here basically. Let's see. You'll grab some eggs from the portridges as well, so I don't know. Another CV, that's pretty good. Okay, this is done. Okay. Yeah, we'll see, we'll see. Okay, bird feed, coconut sandals broke, so we can put that on. Good. And it's been gonna be a while before we need new ones, so that's really nice. Okay, let's do another forge here. Mmm, another seaweed. Well, nest might be doable soon. Not sure if I want to make a mud hut first, though. Okay. Good. I was also being asked what with my other series. And I will continue my other series. It's just that I was really not feeling the best these days. And I still have the cough, so like... Um, not really 100% happy with the recording quality I have to mute all the time and stuff so I was thinking to like wait until I'm a little bit better but since a person directly asked like what's with the other runs I'm so invested right now and there's nothing to watch uh, I will start making videos again so that's all the extra motivation I needed okay aloe vera is almost done so that's really good yeah, I definitely feel like staying in wetlands a little bit now again. Uh, okay. Yeah, let's cook up all the food. And let's also boil some water. We're gonna ginger up before we go. There we go. Yeah, so we're gonna drink all the ginger. Head into in, the, in there. Do some more working. Okay, let's eat that thing. Okay, tired of eating mollusk. How are we doing with food? Will this be enough for like one extra day? It should. With all these prawns, it should quite be fairly possible. Okay. Okay, these are still being cooked. That's all right. Uh, okay, ginger's ready to be consumed. That's nice. Let's eat one fat here. There we go. Wonderful. 47% body fat. Yep, the tactic is definitely working. That's for sure. Okay. Turns out eating raw fat is pretty nutritious. Right, okay. So we're gonna ginger up now. There we go. And this will also give us some nice anti-sleepy thing. Uh, do we have any fish scraps? We do. So we can also plant some ginger today. That will be wonderful. I'm looking forward to that. Okay. Uh, we probably want to grab the pot with us. Uh, let's grab some coconut halves. That was a big mistake we did last time. We needed some of those. We're going to leave this thing here, I guess. I will... Okay, let's see. I do have my, okay, scrap bags. I don't have my knife. I should wrap my knife. These kava roots here, I kind of want to crush them and drink them as well before we go. We are out of stones, interesting. There. Okay, now we're gonna drink the kava. Good. Then we will. Mm. I feel like I want some oil with me. Not sure what to carry it in though. Let's grab a piece of fat for eating. Uh, grab the kava, I guess. Okay, Western. 
probably can spend a couple of days there without Weston, I guess. So we'll do that. Not sure how long we'll stay in the wetlands, but uh, I definitely want to work on my mud hut. So I'm going to grab embers here. Turn this thing off now. Put the embers on another piece of wood. Uh, we're going to grab the handle here. Make the axe and take it with us. Good. Take the scrap knife. What else could we possibly need? We'll need some ash probably for planting. Not sure how we're doing with that, but let's grab some anyway. Uh, shavings can stay. We're gonna grab one scrap metal. Okay, raincoat, we don't need seaweed. Scrap metal, we took. Let's take some food. Palm leaf, flint slab, charcoal, guano, bird bones, salt. Let's grab some salt. Crush conks. Uh, let's grab some sand, quote unquote. Okay, birch cook, bone needle, feathers, clay jar, cooking pot, oil, we're gonna grab oil, water, yeah, we grab some of these, we can grab a couple of coconuts, for, for more oil if we need it, well, let's grab just one, I guess. Right, husk, we don't need snake grass, we don't need spindle, we have, right, yep, we have the spindle, cords, let's grab some cords. Uh, ropes. Let's grab a rope. Now this will become pro more and more problematic as we run out of room here. Okay, turns out... Oh yeah, I know. I know. I know. I have an idea. Ta-da! Oh, we already have one. What? We have a rope equipped. Wait, what? Ah, that's the rope when the spear broke. I'm so stupid. Like, I wanted to make another scrap spear, but I didn't have the rope at my hand, so I decided not to. Like, that was the that was the thing that made me decide. Like, do I have the rope or not? I was like, I don't feel like making rope right now, so I didn't make it. Well, turns out, turns out, even though the spear was lost while we were walking around the cave, it, like, snapped from the rope. We still have the rope. That's so silly. Okay. All right. Yeah, that really caught me off right now. I did not expect to see that. Uh, we have to be careful. Okay, 31%. Okay, hand wrappings. We made new ones, right? Yeah, okay. <laughs> That's so funny. Right. Can't believe that happened. Okay, I think we are fine. I think we are fine. Surely we didn't forget anything this time, right? Okay, let's uh, let's water. Okay, all of is basically done, so we don't need to water it even. We can grab some food here, I guess. Well, not really food, but hey, it will be valuable. Right, let's go Eastern Grasslands. We're going to pay a visit to our partridges here. We have a lot of them now, so the eggs will start piling up. They will also start eating more and more. Uh, I'll definitely feed them because we don't know when we're going to get back. So there we go. These eggs are super nice. I really like it. Okay, right, so, unlucky, was it unlucky? I think it was unlucky, suggested some nice names for the birds, and I like it. So, we're gonna go with Longbird, we're gonna go with Big Bird. This is our homage to the Lobotomy Corporation and Small Bird. There we go. What were those letters? What's that? Well, welcome to my land. <laughs> what else do we have here? These are normal letters where I live, by the way. Look at them. Uh, maybe one day I tell you how they are pronounced. Okay, let's go. Uh, so... Let's move out. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Western grasslands. So yeah, now I'm thinking about the letters. So my brain's like, if we make a mistake here, it's gonna be because of the letters thing. Yeah, I'm thinking about the whole history behind it and uh, what's the, their point and why do they exist in the first place? Like it's such a weird thing that the letters are. Right. Ta -da, ta -da. Let's see, any mouses? Yep. 
not really what we wanted to see, but hey, we can't have it all, can ya? Right, oh, it's raining. Oh, that's really good, actually. That's really good. If I don't get, uh, if I don't unlock the wooden axe soon, I think we're just gonna, like... Uh, I think we will just uh, make a scrap one, which is insane in some ways, but hey, it's gonna be okay. Okay, some order here would be nice. I didn't feel like ordering these because, like, I will, uh, like, um, make the hut anyway, but I feel like I lose more time just, like, trying to figure out where everything is than, uh, you know. And actually ordering it real fast here okay okay good uh, okay sand and salt this is sand for it can be used as temper or burnt inside the kiln to get quick lime so it's almost as it's basically sand for intents and purposes right um so here we are again in the wetlands um right so let's see our nosha pretty low influenced by ginger i'm gonna need some more ginger we need to plant some more ginger so we should probably get on that first right planting some more ginger hopefully we have everything we need uh, we're gonna find out soon Oof, it's not a good time to plant though This cover will damage the ginger plants greatly. We only have six though. So yeah, this is a little bit problematic. <laughs> yeah, it would be nice if these grow fast, but they will not grow fast. 0 0.2 per tick. So let me calculate. So in one hour, well, almost 1% per hour. So like more than two more days for this to grow. Of course, we could fertilize it, but I guess we could. Yeah, sure. Let's speed it up a little bit. At least this one, which is lagging behind. These will be fine. They will survive, but that definitely puts a wrench into my plant here. I will still make the crop plot. I will just not plant it yet. I mean, even making the crop plot is like a good preparation, so we're gonna do it here. Um, I mean, there's another thing you can do. You can plant somewhere else, I guess. Oh, damn, these rains. They come when you don't need them. But they are nice, so at least that's what we have going for us here. All right, let's grab the harpoon and train a little bit. Right, I feel like making another plantation. Um... Okay, we did bring back some sand, right? Good thing that we did. Uh, 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 playing a vegetarian is so much easier than playing a carnivore. It really is. Okay, sorry about that. A little bit of a cough, cough. There we go. Uh, so that's done. Right, we should probably be repopulating these. Okay, we are kind of hungry, so let's see what we have for munching. Okay, we got a whole bunch of roasted prawns. We can eat that. Okay, we have some eggs we can cook. Some more kava. Right, I do want to train my woodworking here, but let's uh, let's do the bugs first. Crazy weather outside. Is that a storm? It looks like a storm. Okay, let's do that. Let's do that. That another one. Yeah, sure. Why not? There we go. So I said to the developers that they should probably make the saturation for bugs. That they are a little bit OP right now. So we'll see what they do. You can just feed off bugs, which is kind of insane. Not sure how nutritious they are though. They should be. Bugs pretty pretty good for you. So yeah. 
Oh, uh, dangerous though. You need to know which ones are good to eat and which ones are not. Okay. So I need more bricks. Uh, where's my axe? There's a scrap axe. There's the normal axe. So we're gonna be clearing these. One hour to do. Oh, did you see that? Hand damage went way down. And it's gone. What happened? What happened? Well, <laughs> we basically grew... We grew another set of hand wrappings on our hands. <laughs> uh, okay, so let's go to damage here. Hand damage. So yeah, we got our hand calluses to half. And that basically means now we have big bulky hands. Which are strong and pain resistant. You know, we're like a big urine grown former or something, I don't know. So yeah, we're gonna be able to like do a little bit more of that. Although, like, I'll probably go for another round of calluses at this point. Hmm. So a part of me is thinking like, what if we make the, the compost bin so we can make fertilizer? It is kind of an expensive thing to make, but um, I'm really considering it. How are you with food? That's all right for now. I should probably leave the oil inside. What you know? What I need? I need more pots. <laughs> I'm just not sure like how smart it is to do like this nice to calf things, which we don't really need right now. Woodworking 32%. Let's start some uh, some. Uh, let's see. Okay, we already started a wood carving. Mm. We need a new one because I don't want to finish them until I'm really really good at it. So. I want them to be successful. Okay. Let's train some spear. There we go. Where's that fat? Yum. Bam. Good. Right, 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 right. Mud hut, mud hut, my dearest, dearest mud hut. Can we make here? Yeah. I mean, the answer is obviously no, but wooden shovel, yes. That's what we are talking about. Okay. All right, all right. Now, 12 hours, no problem. We're gonna be digging ourselves a nice trapping pit for the boars. And while it's raining, the bug bites are not going up, so that's really good. How's the... Okay, land sickness going up. Okay, I don't have any more ginger in my body, so we should probably go and cook up some of that. We don't have to drink it right away, but... Um... If you want to stay here for a while, we probably should have some ready. Right. Not sure how many days will that last. I don't know. Things are pretty good. I mean, I can try exploring a little bit to find some more since we can't really like cook any right now. Okay, so there's the mouse. There's some boiling water. Let's prepare some ginger. Empty. There we go. I'm gonna put it into the pot. Nice. We can use this to cook now, if you have any food to cook. Well, I got some eggs, so that's alright, I guess. It's nice, what else can we do? We can't cook fat. Okay, we got a roasted mouse. We can cook this, we can cook that. Okay, sure, why not? Let's eat these eggs then. And there we go, fish scraps done, and now we can turn it off. Good. Let's eat another egg. Why not? Bam. Tired of eating eggs. Well, that's fine. That's fine. Okay. Okay. Uh, let's go outside. Weather is like stormy and stuff. So there's no sun to, to put us in trouble right now. Jungle in general, pretty good place for a mermaid, seems like. Maybe a little bit too easy. Maybe a little bit too easy. I don't know. I have like... Um, I decided opinion on it. Okay, my hands hurt again. Oh, hello there, mate. Oh, wasn't able to get it. What did you grab? Nothing. Well, that's 
I like that. And no wound either. What can you... What is there not to like, is it? Okay, Nosha's going up. So it's time to drink that pot full of ginger, I guess. I think this will just stop it, though. Yeah, this will just slow it down. That's fine, though. I can throw up a little bit. <laughs> I know it sounds gruesome, but our rate's really good, so... You know what? Mermaid, if you didn't want to be at the land, why did you choose an island anyway? You could have chosen something else. So, yeah. Sun is really bad, and these nice big things that are growing all around us are protecting us. So, yeah. It's definitely an obvious choice. Um, let me think here. Let me think. Right. I guess we could start building the mud hut. Why not? Oops. Okay, we're gonna need five sticks. That shouldn't be too much of a trouble. There we go. Mm. Okay, we don't have another one, really? Okay, so that means if we explore, we're gonna find two. Oh, yeah, we will. Nice. There we go. There we go. Traps triggered. Let's rearm it. I should probably, like, get some bucks for that, though. There we go. Good. Okay. Alright, alright. So this is a special Neomer kind of way of playing the mermaid. The wetlands mermaid. Mermaids do like water, wetlands has plenty of it, so... What's there not to like, right? There we go. Oh, light rain. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, right, so we're gonna need some more of that. And we're gonna need some more of that. There we go. And let's see what else. Um, Nothing. 1 hour 30 minutes. Let's go. You don't have to fear the sea hounds bite if there's no any if there's none uh, around to actually uh, bite you. So <laughs> you're gonna have a million palm fronts at this point, like a million gazillion palm fronts. Not sure how I feel about that. It's all right, I guess. Okay, this is gonna be using for fertilizer and bait, I guess. Um. <laughs> Yeah, let's go start a fire. Let's drink a little bit. Okay, Anosha is like stopped in its tracks. Yeah, I think we're gonna drink this ginger tea here. There we go. I'm gonna fill it up with water, cook up some. Well, basically, we're gonna have to leave this place once we run out of uh, food. But, uh, yeah, we're making some good progress. So right now we have, like, a, this good cycle going. So we um, come here and we spend some time in the in the jungle until we run out of food. Then we go back to the beach and get some food there and stuff. Right. I did want to put some more ginger. Oh, no, I just wanted to make this water safe. There we go. Okay, how's my gear? Well, looks all right for now. Got some kawa. That's all right. Um, okay, water's cooled down. We're gonna drink it. I'm gonna make some more. We are kind of out of food though, so I am strongly considering to uh, go back to the beach now. We did build one one round of mud hut, so that's a really good progress. Okay, we can eat this fat. And we can... Let's see. Oh, we do have some food still. Okay, never mind. We're going to be staying one more day here. Okay, uh, so... Do we make the next step of the mud hut or do we do the trapping pit? Now the trapping pit could help us. Oh, 
Okay, 15 one minute, of course. Yeah, that's what we're waiting for, really. Okay. Okay. Good. Here we go. Trap triggered. Another mouse. I guess we hunted a lot of... Uh, I guess we hunted a lot of... How do you call them? Oh, there we go. Partridges, so... There are not many more partridges uh, to be found, so... yeah. Right, a mousey mouse. A mousey mouse, well, we can definitely eat that. Do we have the campfire on? We do. Okay. Yeah, why not? Let's eat the mouse. Uh, let's see. Nosha going up again. Right. So if we want to stay here and not throw up, we should go through our ginger here. Assess the damage. <laughs> you nasty, nasty hobbitses. Okay. Uh, that's, that's not what I wanted, but okay. But okay, game, be that way. Oh, it stopped again. Wait, what? Oh, we do have some ginger. I guess we just ate something bad. Oh, I still have lots of food left over, so we'll probably stay here for another day, though, so... Okay. So let's make some of that. Oh. There they are, the empty bowls. Okay. I'm gonna leave the fire on because like I have like a million palm fronts, so there's really no much sense to keep it on and off. We're gonna be using palm fronts to feed it. There we go. Nice thing, it stopped when it gets to full. It doesn't use up everything. I do appreciate that a lot actually. Could make some baskets. Thing is, it's not like materials are not the problems for baskets, but time is. So yeah, that's why I'm not making any baskets because, well, I want to use my time for some other stuff, like building a mud hut, for example. Um, right. Oh, hello. Please dinner. Ah, oh, come on. We need more training. We need more training. There we go. 69%. That's a nice number. Surely when the next partridge comes, we get it. I think we should prepare another axe. Okay, let's grab this one of these stones. Uh, let's grab the embers. There we go. Fill it up again. There. Embers. Best way to make the axe. There we go. And let's see. Let's continue searching. Maybe we find some ginger. That would be amazing. Bug bites are going up. That's okay. We don't care. Not too much anyway. We have to be careful about malaria. But other than that, don't worry too much. Especially once we'll have... Okay, where is my spindle? Spindle, spindle. Oh, the great spindle of the lake. Show us your... Show us the path. There we go. Get some quartz going. And there we go. Nice. Bam. And the weather outside is frightful. Okay, it seems like we are out of ginger, so we're gonna go and ginger up again. Ginger it up. Mm, amazing. It also like reduces the need for sleep. That's really good. We can get even more work done that way. Oh, the ginger. I think ginger is my new favorite plant. I'm gonna be planting it all the time. I'm gonna have it all the time. I'm gonna be under ginger influence all the time in my playthroughs, I think. It's just so good. I would plant it right now, right away, if it wasn't for this pesky, pesky kava full of fungus, which would start destroying it right away. Uh, right, yeah, that's the only reason why I'm, we are not doing it right now. Right, one hour, 30 minutes. Okay, let's eat first. 
Okay. Yeah, we are running out now though. So Okay. The traps proved to be really bad. <laughs> well we hunted all the portages, I guess that's the reason. Okay, one hour thirty minutes, let's go. We're a little bit dry, yeah. Okay, mud bricks and sticks, no problem. Let's check out the sun exposure, it's okay. Yeah, it seems like this, the the protection here is just too good. It's just too good. Oh, yes. Hello there, I'm really sorry. You came at really bad time. If you got caught earlier, like two days ago, instead of your sister, you would be 100% fine, but... Uh, that's really bad timing. I don't know what else to tell ya. Okay. Hopefully we have everything we need though, otherwise that would be a little bit awkward. Nice. There we go. Yum 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 yum. Okay, uh let's see. Let's see how the stuff is outside. Still protected, still protected. I don't know, just feels a little bit OP. Um. Uh, 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 uh. Let's find malaria. Okay. So this is what we have to keep track of, right? Uh, so as the bug bites go up, there is like more and more threat of the malaria. Okay, let's remove the camp fever because we're not getting that again. Uh, where is malaria now? I'm just being blind, aren't I? Didn't I pin it? Ginger reduces the pain as well. <laughs> it really is like... Uh... Oh, come on. Come on, something... Okay, immune system. There we go. I did pin it. Oh, there it is. I'm just blind. Okay, never mind. Okay, ready in six minutes. Wonderful. Mm -hmm. Okay, good, 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 good. Okay, that's, that's nice, that's nice. I enjoyed that a lot. So I was just saying how the traps were being useless and the traps were, oh, they're called useless. I'm gonna catch the first partridge. No, I'm gonna catch the first partridge. And well, catch the partridge they did. I don't care which one was the first. I just am happy we got some partridge. Right, build. The bugs are really destroying us though. Oh, first degree burns, really? I did not expect that. Okay, so I guess during the clear weather it's not safe to be outside in the jungle. But still, this is pretty good protection considering the circumstances. Right, we're gonna need three more bricks. One, two, three. Okay, let's go inside. Now we need to lick our wounds, apparently. Yeah, I got a little bit cocky, that's for sure. Uh, let's drink some kava to alleviate the pain. There we go. Because this will hurt a lot. This will turn into a second degree burn. No, it's still first degree burn, so at least that's that. We'll need to go back to the beach because of the because of the bug bites. I really need to like heal my my skin a little bit from them. But we made some amazing progress on the mud hut, so that makes me happy. Okay. Uh, make one more of these and then one more of these. There we go. So I kind of want to come back relatively fast to finish the job. But, you know. Okay, we can open these up. Yeah, we need to get some food ready now, <laughs> basically. Okay. Uh, let's see. Oh, we didn't do that in a while, so let's do it good okay you can grab these eat them up train some spear good got another one eat that one good 
Okay, we need to wash. Wonderful. Do another vodka. I do another car carving here. That's fun. How's malaria? Okay. With this, this immune system is just too strong. So bugs are biting us, but malaria can't even touch us. Can touch this. Da -da 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 -da. Okay. Well, there's a little bit of sun exposure. I'm gonna grab. This takes 30 minutes. Okay, I'm gonna grab some kava here. We'll need it. We'll need it. We're in a lot of pain right now. Okay. Because of the bug bites and stuff. Um, okay. Let's grind it up. There we go. Can we get some more water? Yeah, we can. Okay. So we entered the late game. How do we know that? Well, the loading times are starting to be a little bit crazy. But that means we are living in prosperity. For a long time, for a long time, it was super easy to play here with the mermaid. Uh, we didn't have any problems at all. No, no. For a long time, it was super hard playing with mermaid. We had lots of troubles and we didn't have enough items. But now things improved dramatically, so... So it's pretty good. Okay. I think we're just gonna leave these here. How long does it take to rip it off? Not no time. Okay. That's pretty good actually. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. Let's use them up a little bit more. What else can we do here? We could take a break. We've been like working hard whole day, so Malaria? Still no malaria. So as long as your immune system is really good, you're safe, more or less. How's the nausea? Okay, it's going up. We lost our ginger. All right. I'm not gonna put any more ginger. We're going back home. We'll throw up probably a little bit, but it's clear wetter. Ah, oh, this this rainy season like really didn't like really giving us uh, no no more favors. Okay. Okay, we do have a wound handle, so... Okay, do that. We can make another axe here. We'll probably need some axes here. There we go. Gonna make, need an axe home as well, but hey, we can make it there. No problem. Okay, we bring the pot back. We bring the oil back. Uh, we are hungry, so we have to move out soon-ish here. Okay, let's feed the fire. Get some charcoal and ash, maybe. Yeah, that might be a good idea. That might be a really good idea, actually. There we go. Turn it off. Grab some charcoal and ash for planting. Good. Feed these. Good. Take a break. Uh, how's the weather? I mean, weather is good. But once we leave the jungle, it's not gonna be as great anymore. And I do have a lot of burns, so I think I'm just gonna go and sleep a little bit here until that's gone. Yeah. There we go. We could have something to drink. How thirsty are you? Ah, no problem. No problem at all. Okay. So let's grab some stuff. Okay, I okay. How are we doing with stones? We have five stones here. Oh yeah, we wanted to make a wooden shovel, didn't we? <laughs> we have eleven stones. Okay, I need some stones back at home because I'm running like running out. Not sure where we're gonna find some more. But we'll definitely need some for the trapping pit, and we'll need to make that wooden uh, wooden uh, shovel. We never build it, which is like, yeah. But it's not gonna happen now anyway so yeah we're hungry and everything i'm gonna go back and probably wrap up the video but like really really good progress here i'm very happy and i'm already working on my wood carving so quite a few already almost done so two here a couple of back home and stuff like that pretty good on scrap still we're gonna need a new knife though okay this new axe is holding up pretty good 
Right, let's train some harpoon here and I'm gonna head out. Can we throw up? Yeah, I know. Leather shoes. Okay, that's cool. Satchel. Water skin. These are all nice, but we only have one leather, so. So that's that. Uh, right. Okay, what are we gonna bring with us? We're gonna bring some snake grass, probably. That's plentiful here, so no reason to leave it behind. Scrap metal, sure. I'm carrying this scrap metal around, like, you know, like I'm being attached to it. Uh, rest can stay. I mean, we have a lot of access here. Let's bring one back home. We don't need that many anymore because I think we did most of the hard job with the access here. All we definitely bring back. Mm, coconut can stay. I mean, some mud would be nice. So we can make some more pottery if we decide to do so, which we might. But then we also need some wood for the burnables. For the kiln, right? This is too heavy, okay. Okay. Right. Uh, I feel like making some uh, zacks now. We'll need some zacks to be able to carry more. Okay, so these are almost done, right? Okay, one cow plot is done, and now the other one will be. So we have plenty of cover here. Okay, <laughs> the bug bites are maxed out. They're destroying our skin integrity. Okay, how's the malaria? Uh, non-existent okay so my immune system is just too strong they can't do anything oh malaria resistance what's that is mermaid resistant to malaria it might be interesting anyhow let's head back oh i forgot the food for the chickens uh probably fine probably fine we have one more but uh we need to figure something out now. <laughs> Just one egg? Really? Well, I guess we got a lot of unhappy partridges. Okay, I'm gonna get some... I was expecting more eggs, to be honest, but okay. Right, and home sweet home. For now, anyway. Assess the damage, nothing was damaged by the storms, aloe vera is done, so now we can use that. Okay, we're gonna start by foraging some food here. Okay, use the spear, wonderful, we got the seagull, nice. Right, okay, well we got plenty of food, we're gonna continue tomorrow. So first order of business will be, oh, seaweed spoiled, yeah. So that's the problem, it's hard to collect the seaweed because it spoils so fast, right? So first order of business will definitely be feeding ourselves, then we're gonna wait for the bug bites to go down because that's causing pain. Hopefully we don't throw up again, but yeah. Okay, day 48. I think we picked up a pace a lot. We're gonna have the mud hut done by like day 51, 52 if we stay here on the beach for a long time or we can just rush it by day 50 if we want to. We just ignore the bugs, which it seems like we can, which is kind of insane. Um, but I think we're going to take it a little bit more slower, collect a lot of food here again. I didn't get greeted by the sea hounds this time when I came back. And then I'm going to start thinking about the copper tools, uh, depending on if the sea hounds come or not. And if we get the scrap or not, we're going to make that decision. But we still have lots of scrap, so no reason to do the copper. There's one thing about the copper, though. It's going to be much harder to get it once we are in our like uh, third month, right? So when we hit day 60, we're going to move slower as a mermaid. So that I do know, even though I never got that on the new 1.0. The old mermaid was like that and players who got there already are reporting it. So no much surprise there. So if I want to go for copper, I really want to do it before day 60. So we'll see. We'll see. As we get closer to day 60, I'm going to make that decision depending on how much scrap I got and what are my current situations. So yeah, we'll see how good the, the traps will be inside the, um, the wetlands. If the traps will be working good, and we might even move the partridges there as well. So if I can make a nice living there for me in the mud hut, 
and with the farming of ginger and with the trapping then we're gonna stay there and if not well we'll probably come back here we'll see anyway that's gonna be it for this episode hopefully you enjoyed it if you did don't forget to like and subscribe in the meantime have a wonderful day be kind to each other i think the world is made a better place by little acts of kindness of everyday people and that's not like you know how do i say it it's just not it's not like the saying that really works imagine if everyone did that every day just a couple of times you know how everything would be better i know it's not supported by evolution and everything but you know we have a society so anyhow thank you all for watching me playing this wonderful game i'll see you back tomorrow the new signing out bye bye